Hey everybody, Kent here again and thanks for joining me for getting started with Heidi. You know, hopefully you've already jumped on, you know, use my login uh, or sign up code here. That's going to give you, you know, that one month free, saving you $100, but it's gonna give me a little bit of a kickback for, you know, a bit of thanks for putting this all together. And I'd really appreciate that. But let's get started with Heidi. Basically, what I want you to get familiar with is our basic Heidi login screen. Now, I know this is a little bit um, smaller for you, but let's go through and hopefully you've got that on the screen with you there. But basically with our current version, what we're looking at is up the top left of our screen, you can see that new session. And typically that's going to be the first thing you're seeing. Um, you know, you want to click that new session, um, you know, then that's going to get everything started and you can possibly press straight away record if you've got the pop up there. Um, I've, I've deactivated that and I'll show you that in a little bit more depth. But you know, that's a nice way just to go straight into that new session there. As we're coming down, you can see search and this is where you can start to access some of your previous, um, you know, recordings there in the patients. And you can see that there's a few names and if you don't put a name in up the top here, then you're going to really be straight up into, you know, what Heidi thinks is the diagnosis or what you have said is the diagnosis. As you come a little bit further down, you're starting to look into the settings and within the settings, you've got the account, your profile, your session settings. And in the profile, there's a few different things there, you know, your name. Um, for myself as a podiatric surgeon, I like to put in um, my specialty as an orthopedic surgeon. It just more closely relates to my normal caseload and it, it provides notes in a, a, you know, a, a, a more appropriate um, sort of setup as a base. And so, you know, I, I found that that just gives me a bit of a better option, but otherwise you're putting in their podiatrist or physio um, or whatever it might be as your, um, uh, your, your profession. Now, you know, have a bit of a play around, see what works best for you. It, it can really uh, change how things are set up normally. Now within the session settings, you can really choose your default template here and we're gonna come back to the templates um, definitely. Uh, and you can also choose when your data is deleted. Anything from one day to you know nine days, I've got mine set on 21 days um, or otherwise it can be 90 days. Um, for me, 21 days is pretty good. It allows me to jump back to it if I do need to write another letter, um, but it also allows you know things to be a bit more concise there and making sure that that data security is really looked after. Um, there's also options there where you can stop sort of, um, you know, a consent pop up. So if you are a bit, you know, slack in remembering to get that patient consent before starting to record, you can have that come up. Um, there's also a recording pop up that comes up and I've disabled that as well. So what we're looking here at the moment, that, that's what I see as soon as I jump into Heidi. Um, you know, and, and that for me is sort of what I like. I prefer to get my head together before I jump up here and you know you can see the start recording button up the top right uh, and that's where I'm going to be uh, looking there. But you know like I mentioned you know we've got the patient name over here I usually just put the first name Heidi doesn't need all the details there. Um, you know at the bottom you can see there's, there's a ask Heidi session um, or little uh, ribbon there and basically that's where you can start to go okay we'll put a little bit more detail um, you know make it more brief I want to um, you know pull out more information about uh, the consent process. I want to start talking more about the biomechanics and give me more detail in that from what we've said or make the subjective more detailed. You know, really uh, that's where you get to ask the AI whatever you need it to be. And really it's, it's basically like using chat GPT. Use it, um, have a play around with it and see what you can do because um, you know, there's, there's a few prompts that are there, but otherwise you're really looking. But otherwise, like I said, we're up at the top, start recording, there's a bit of a timer there, but there's also the mic option. So, you know, if you're changing it to a different mic, then you've got that option there as well. As we go back into our settings and our templates, um, you know, we, we can start to see that there's a few different templates that I've got here. Um, definitely, um, you know, I've got my podiatric surgeon's template. I've got my nail and skin. I've got my post-procedure template. I've got a GP or a referral letter, so a document template, which just makes it, it means that basically I get my letters out straight away because they're written within 10 seconds. You know, it just is such a good thing to do. But templates are what drive Heidi. And really you need to get those templates right. And I've got a full session dedicated to templates uh, and where I'll give you everything uh, to at least have a bit of a start around on. But really, you know, detail is everything when it comes to templates. Give them everything they need to work with. Uh, and they're going to be, uh, you know, providing you the information that you want for the consult, depending on what's important to you. 
and I think that's really important. But up the top right here, you can see that create template button and that's a nice way to start. We can start to create these templates. You can ask Heidi to generate that. Um, you can start from an existing note where basically copy and paste a note that you really like from one of your previous patients over the last few weeks put it in there and it's going to give you basically the readout. You know, in the same way you can do this with letters um, and that'll just then uh, build out uh, a new template for you uh, so that you don't have to sort of mess around and worry about, oh, I, is it going to be what I want, what I look at? Um, basically, I recommend doing a hybrid of this. You know, do the, uh, you know, let them know, or we'll put in an existing note, but then also really edit it. And I'm, I'm quite uh, aggressive in my editing and you'll see with some of my templates. But basically, if you come back to these actions on the right of um, the templates or the My Templates screen, you can click into that, press edit, and go into any of your notes. Now what that's going to look like is this customised template zone. Okay, it's going to have a name and for this case it's the, my podiatric surgeon's note. Um, the template type is a note. Uh, and then you can see that, you know, on the screen here and, you know, definitely I'm, I'm not dragging that down, but there's <clears throat> quite a bit of information there with the subjective that I'm, I'm wanting to pull out there. You know, at worst getting this type of information is a starting point, uh, but really putting more detail in so that you get in it in a, a format that you like, that you want, um, and that would be normal for you in your consultation is a really critical thing. So start thinking about, you know, what do you want to uh, get out of your templates or what do you want in your notes so that we can then, once we get to the session on templates, start looking into that a, a little bit more um, easily. But basically, once Heidi gives you these notes um, in the template that you want, you just copy and paste it into your electronic health record, you save it there, and that's great. What I would recommend is, you know, doing any editing in Heidi. So, you know, we've got that machine learning, remember? So we want it to start to recognize and learn from you so that things are going to be improving as well. Now, whether we're up to that at the moment or not, it's definitely going to kick in very soon, they tell me. And so let's make sure that that machine learning is really covering off on what you're doing previously, um, you know, and hopefully to improve our notes altogether um, as a profession as well as an individual there too. But, you know, if you aren't already on Heidi, definitely jump in. As I mentioned, you will get that first month free. It does give a little bit of a kickback to me and I really appreciate that. But start experimenting, start thinking about what's important for your electronic health record um, and we'll cover that off more in a, one of the, of the future sessions. Um, but really jump in, have a bit of a look uh, and really see what we can find from Heidi because I think it really is something uh, really special that just helped me so much with getting really clear and concise notes but also getting that letters and other correspondence straight out to the doctors or referrers um, that I really think is such an important part of uh, you know collaborative care for our patients but for the moment this has been getting started with Heidi cheers <laughs>